Hi, my name is Jeff Edmonds, and this is a solution for lab number three using 8051 assembly. So first, uh, you can see that um, I'm using uh, the keypad for uh, buttons number one and two for um, these pulses. I'm using the far, uh, the number seven um, switch for the opcode. And then I'm using one, two, three, four, those four um, bits for the um, input. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, assemble the program. Um, and then the first step um, will initialize the up counter value, uh, which um, is set to 15. It was already set. And next we're going to in initialize the down counter, which is 0, and the max value for the up counter, which is 15. And that's right there. Uh, then we'll jump to the, not jump, but go on to the main routine. And this first um, operation maps the uh, switches to the LEDs. So each, um, here's the switches and here's the LEDs. And those are both, um, all of the switches share one byte. So each uh, switch is a bit. And then all of the LEDs share one byte. So each um, LED is also a bit. All right, then we're gonna move to the um, okay now you can see that the since this operation went through the LEDs are now lit and uh, we'll go to the jump jump to the row scan uh, subroutine just right here like I said I was us I'm using the keypad here for the uh, button inputs uh, for the up counters and the down counter. Um, and it the first is going to check the row. Um, it, the, the keypad is set up in a, a matrix. So um, you'll, you're able to detect a, a key press um, using a row and a column. So here's the third, zero, one, two, three, third row. And then I believe it's uh, zero, one, two for the columns. Um, so the first thing just uh, basically um, clears the key band uh, for any presses, uh, um, previous presses. And then we're going to jump to the column scan routine where we're actually going to find the key press. Uh, first thing it's going to check for is key one, which is not pressed. Um, so it's important to note that um, a key press is actually uh, sets the bit to zero um, and uh, its uh, default is to one. So one, this keypad one, uh, key one is set to zero and this keypad two is, excuse me, this keypad one is set to one and this keypad two is set to zero. Uh, so we're going to, since that um, since this is set to one, we're going to miss key the, the first one. And then we should catch uh, this one and jump to the got key to uh, subroutine. All right, which it did. Um, so then um, in the got key to uh, subroutine, we're going to first move the um, up counter maximum to the accumulator. So we're going to go from here and put that in there. All right, you see that value is in the accumulator now. And then we're going to subtract the current up counter value um, from the accumulator value to make sure that it's not at its maximum, which it just started. So um, it's going to just move on. And then this step we'll check if the value is at its max 
And then, um, if so, it will jump to the reset key too. But since it's not, um, which would have, if the, the value was at its max, then the value in the accumulator would have turned from 15 to zero, which this uh, operation uh, jumps when there is a zero in the accumulator. Uh, so we'll skip it this time. And it does, so else we will increment the up counter value. So we'll be able to see that right here. And it's incremented. So now we're gonna jump to the input value uh, routine, subroutine, which is down here. And this is just gonna check the these four bits to see what the value is on the input. Uh, first, we're gonna reset the accumulator. And then we're gonna check if, um, if switch six is set to zero. Uh, again, it's, uh, zero means that the button is pressed. The switch is, uh, you know, enacted. Uh, since it's not, we're just going to skip that step. And we'll do the same thing for five, since I've only got a value of two um, in input. And so we're there now. So since this value, th since the this um, switch was set, we're going to jump to the switch four routine, it's down here. And then uh, this is going to basically um, add the, um, it would concatenate the next bit if uh, these previous uh, uh, bits had um, been set. But since we're, this is the first bit that's set, um, we will first add uh, the value two to the accumulator. So that's done right here. And then we're going to check to see if switch three is set, which it's not. So we're going to move on to the next instruction. And this here, we're going to move the uh, value in the accumulator to uh, register zero, just right here. And that's going to store our input value for us. OK, and at this point, we're going to check the operand um, uh, the opcode value to see if we're going to check the up counter or if we're going to check the down counter. Um, since it is pressed, we're going to be checking the up counter. So we'll go ahead and jump to the check up routine, which will compare the input and, and the up counter values. So if the values are not equal, in this uh, step, uh, we're going to jump to the comp subroutine, and we know that they're not equal since we have a one in the up counter and a two in the in the input for the input value. So this is the compare jump not equal instruction. So since they weren't equal, we went ahead and jumped to the um, comp subroutine um, and with the compare jump not equal if the um, value is uh, great if the if the value on the input is greater than the value on the counter the uh, carry bit um, will not be set um, right here so this is the carry bit in the PSW And so we go ahead and jump to the comp crate since the um, input value was indeed greater than the uh, current count, up count value. And then the comp crate uh, subroutine um, will check if the input is uh, greater than the count. And this is the subroutine that will actually light the LED. So um, we can see now that X is greater than Y. So the very first bit um, LED is lit. Uh, now we're gonna go in the jump delay um, subroutine. 
Uh, I've added a delay because when the program is uh, running at its, uh, um, you know, the 12 megahertz speed, um, it's the the uh, compared out comparator output uh, only really shows up as a quick blip. Um, so this delay will allow um, the compared out output value to be uh, read more easily. Since we're um, you know stepping through this line by line, it's not really going to function for it. It's not it doesn't really hold much value for us. It's just going to make us wait longer. Um, so the first thing I do is uh, for the delay function is put a value of twenty into the register one. So you can see that's been done. And then the um, the dollar sign operand. Uh, we'll loop the back to the current the current subroutine, the beginning of the current subroutine, until the value in this register is zero, which is the uh, uh, which aligns with the don't jump uh, not zero. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, instruction. So you can see that the, this is counting down uh, from 20. It's in hex, so we're going to jump to F now. Yeah. So I'll just uh, keep going until it gets to zero. Let's see, we're at seven now. Four and zero. So now it's allowed to move on. Uh, since we're that register is now at zero, and we're going to jump up back up to main. All right, so we're now at main, and we're going to um, map the switches. Uh, you'll see that the um, the comparator output is still set, but after we run this instruction, it's going to clear uh, that output for us. Um, and let's. Uh, Let's go ahead and do this to make our input value different. Uh, we'll still check the up counter um, for ease of use here. All right, and you can see that the uh, output from the comparator has been reset, and the um, input value has also been set to the new value. And we'll just go ahead and leave that keypad uh, down, keypad two down um, for the uh, up counter. Then we're going to do the road scan again. I'll go through a little bit faster this time. Um, check if the key two is pressed, which it is. I'm going to move the um, counter maximum to the accumulator again and subtract the current value. Since it's not zero, we're going to skip the reset key. Um, and then we're going to increment the up counter again. And now it's at two. So we'll check the input value. Go through all, skip all those bits. Go through the third one. And we're going to move uh, one into the accumulator since um, where the current input value is one, and then we're going to store that value into uh, register zero here, and then we're going to still check up, and then it's going to jump to the comp routine since they were not equal. And in this case, um, we should skip comp great and go to comp less uh, because one is less than two. And there we go, we jump to comp less. And so we're gonna clear um, this bit right here, or excuse me, this third one to light the LED, um, this right here. And you can see that that 
is now lit. Um, you should see that there's an error here. Uh, the LCD um, display. A lot of these um, things you can see like this is lit. A lot of these things um, share um, share memory. Uh, so um, like the LEDs and this and this like all will share um, some values. Um, and you can supposedly change that with this DI thing, but I was not able to have that the simulator save any changes I made with that, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. All right, so anyway, we're gonna jump to the delay now. And we're gonna go through that delay. And you can see it's uh, it's counting down. We're at 15 from down from 20. All right, and now we can jump back up to main. Oops, I already did that. Um, so let's change this to three. And you can see that since this, um, since I messed up and had this uh, uh, this instruction go before I had set this value, it um, it's not going to catch it. Um, so I'm going to actually just reset this because um, I don't want to go through again just so we can catch that. And I'll just go ahead and show you what this looks like when it's running in um, real time. So make sure it's reset. Um, I'll go ahead and put some input values in. We'll just go ahead. Uh, I'll show you that the down counter works, I guess. Um, and then we'll we'll leave this up since we want to check the down counter value. And um, we can start with an input value. Um, of. Eight, I guess. And I'll go ahead and run it. I think that's all I need to set. All right, you can see that that bit is set. It's um, doing various operations. And you can see that uh, it was, um, X was less than the input value was less than the counter down counter value, which you can see the down counter value here. And you can see the input value here. So then it's counting down and counting down. It's cleared. Let me check it again. It's still less than. It's cleared again. That means it's jumped up to the main routine. Still less than. We're at nine on the down counter now. And you can see that the, the delay is actually really helpful at this point. Okay, now we're at eight. And we checked it and uh, there we go. Just paused it. So now we can see that the um, the input value is eight. And that's you can see that in register zero. And the down counter is at eight. And you can see that here in um, the RAM address space uh, 20 in hex. And then uh, you can see down here in our um, comparator design that X, when X is equal to Y, we're going to do the uh, middle LED. And there we have it. We can see that the uh, values are equal. And I think that pretty much covers everything. Um, one thing that uh, we didn't get to is that the um, when the 